Hi, my name's Max, and welcome to Trailblazer Reloaded. On this season of Leagues, we get to pick three areas to explore and try out the new relics. I don't have much of a plan, but it's going to be fun either way. Let's get started. Alright, back in the saddle here with the 500s. Um, that one went really smooth. It was a little slow in the beginning, but the end I picked it up. Uh, let's see if we can get the purple for today. The first purple. Please, don't give me a white streak. Ah, yes, purple. So we are going to get the shadow. Or one of the good items that we need still. Come on, be something good. It, it's just, it's the same thing. Over and over. Elite clue. What's that? Attain oh, no way! I got the pet! I got the pet! Oh! <laughs> No fucking way I got the pet. 0.59% chance. No shadow, but we have the pet. Can I metamorphosis him yet? Just between those two, I might have the items. I, I gotta see what I need to do for those items. No way! That's so cool. I guess we take this. <laughs> Consolation prize for sure. Let's see, let's go to raids here. Tombs of a Masket. 3, 3, and 4 now. It's so crazy, but we take the pet, I guess. I know I'm going to have to go for the transmogs for this guy, because next uh, leagues I might not have this area, so I definitely have to take advantage of it. I'll definitely have to get those before the end of the league, and probably before I finish TOA, so I'm not just grinding it for the sake of grinding it. We're getting better at these. Oh, that was I, actually I kind of fucked up P2 Wardens, I'm not going to lie, but we made it through. <laughs> yes, another purple. Just don't... Uh, just be something new. This is getting absurd. I'll be happy with anything new. Ward Shadow Fang, Ward Shadow Fang, Ward Shadow Fang, Ward Shadow Fang. Ooh, yes! We take those. I've been wanting that. Ah, feels good. Oh, wait, what's the... Okay, 200 points. What's the difference here? We got one prayer, three magic percent damage. A little less accuracy. Uh, and then some decent defenses except for magic. That's, that's going to be nice. That percent might help me get a couple of three or three downs, I think it is. Three or four. Another smooth one. I uh, froze a couple times during that. Once at Baba and once on P2 Wardens, and I thought it was all over, but I managed to tank it. Please continue the purple streak. Ah, it's white. Damn, it feels so bad when you have a 75% chance at it. Let's see. Ooh, we needed the lilies. That's awesome. Some seeds and diamonds. Blue scroll to a little consolation prize. Let me go see what that uh, Lily's challenge was. I don't, do I not have room in my bank? Or am I freezing again? Yeah. See, the servers are real bad. Ah, the task is to make 50 Menifite Remedies, so I would need more. I guess it gives me something to be excited about still for white chests. Oh, Chromium Ingot. That's something. You do all that shit, it's like, wait, no, I don't have anything to do. Oh, chromium. Chromium ingot number two. Didn't even notice, but we passed 100 leviathan kills. I think the rate for a piece of Virtus is 153, if Bodhi could be trusted. Uh, I didn't do the math myself, but that sounds about right. Well, it's a good thing I didn't go buy the rest of the gems for 99 crafting, because I'm definitely going to bank them at leviathan. Especially if I'm getting perfect kills, it's like 57 diamonds per or something. No one's killed this wandering boss before enough to like... Ah, another chromium ingot, that's three of them. Oh! I have the duke, I think that's an axe piece, right? Would have much rather had a uh, piece of the Virtus, but... Bakers can't be choosers, right? Getting some good drops this uh, this trip. Dragon bolts, onyx bolts, and the eye of the duke so far. Just 150 leviathan. Uh, I'm getting close to the rate for Virta, still haven't gotten it yet. Actually, I'm gonna grab that pure, ass pure essence. 
I'm on my way to Calphite, but before then I definitely have to plant some uh, dwarf weeds for these white lilies. I think it was 50 or something. So it's going to take me probably two farm runs with four patches. Alright, I just had the urge to do something different, and I think I want to try solo chambers. I haven't done a solo in forever, and back then I had max gear and a sang staff and everything. It was before the, the shadow, but... Um, I'm going to have to really relearn the whole thing, which is why I picked this area so I could learn solos a little better to take back to my Iron Man. Uh, this is the setup I'm going with, and they have updated raids, so it should be a little bit easier for me, hopefully. This looks like as good a raid as any. Um, the spiel is kind of annoying, but I think they've made it even a little bit better, and with my magic, I should be able to destroy it. They're all at Ice Demon, so nice, because it hits no matter what, doesn't get uh, capped by the Ice Demons thing. Alright, this is one of the ones I was a little bit worried about. Let's hit this heart. Get the Thrall going. Oh yeah, this should be a problem. We could kind of just let my Thrall cook it towards the end too. Yeah. Do one more hit. Nice, that was smooth. There's another task. I'm probably getting close to the hard combat task. Let's see. 74 points, still a good, good bit away. Also, was not quite as smooth as the other ones. Oh, you get an overload here now. That's very, very nice. All right, I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, it's a little weird because the fang is like five ticks, so I'm going to have to kind of do the scythe method, which I, there's no way I'm going to be able to do. So I'm just going to wing it on the melee hand a little bit. Hopefully we'll have the supplies to get through it. If not, we'll, you know, have one death and probably be able to finish it off. No way, I just got it. <laughs> I had nine HP left. No purple, but damn, that was fun. Oh... I don't think I need melee, I think I'm just gonna mage and range at the end. Let's see what we got. A couple good points too. Nothing important. Actually, 108 catatines, really nice. Alright, we're gonna try this one out. Vesp tight, Guardian Muta Ice. Should be pretty easy as well. Um, I'm not sure if I need to keep bringing melee, but I'm gonna do it for now. Might just bring fewer switches into Ulm. Yeah, I don't think I really need it. Alright, I got a purple, but um, I, probably, I probably don't deserve it with 32k points, but that raid went a lot better. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Dragon Hunter Crossbow. I'll use that. That's going to help me a ton at home. 200 points too. And I have Dragon Bolts that I can enchant from Leviathan. That's so sick for a first drop. Oh my god, that's fun. And I can use it at TOA too, it's an upgrade for TOA. Trying to decide if I should make Ruby Bolts Enchanted or Diamond. I, the Ruby would definitely be better for Ulm, I think. But the Diamond might be better at TOA. Alright, I think I'm going to go with 300 Diamond and 180 Ruby. Uh, I'm going to go grab a Range Cape really quick because I don't want to waste any of these. It's hard to get them. I think my only way to get them is from Le Leviathan right now. So I want to make sure I don't use them all up too quick. Let's buy this range cape. I'm hoping that it will work as an accumulator even if I can't get the accumulator. I'm pretty sure it does. Alright, we're going to give Tecton a try. I haven't done this yet, so... Tecton is not it with magic. Maybe there's a different way to do it, but that was brutal. I've made a massive mistake and forgotten my pickaxe. It's gonna be a long guardian's room. Oh my god, no way, I got another one. I was just about to record and say I only used nine dragon bolts. Uh, <laughs> Give me something good. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I figured it was going to be a scroll. Read it. Augury, done. Activate an arcane dexterous or, or arcane or dexterous prayer scroll for eight points. Definitely going to see some of those on this grind. Pretty quick, but it was not quick enough for the task. 
I have to get more Hespori seeds. Addis and Ranar. That got me to 90 farming though, that's uh pretty good. I'm gonna go do the rest of a tree run right now. Oh, that's lucky. I just got a magic seed from a bird nest finally for 80 points. 34k almost. I'm actually excited to check my first mahogany trees here. 250k XP each, and it's a task as well. Getting a bunch of tasks that I didn't even realize were tasks today. Ooh, there's a twistle from Herbivore. Uh, I figured I'd do some, start working on my uh, hunter level before I get it just from birdhouses. All right, I forgot to attach this to that, so let's see what this looks like. Probably should have done a before and after, but ooh, that's point 400 points. 400 points for making the cursed phalanx. That's insane. I <laughs> didn't even think about it, and I didn't even remember to equip it when I got it right away too. That's crazy points. What are we at? 34, 690. Uh, right now I'm trying to start working on some diaries. I have like, I'm working on the Varrock. I do have to do a Soul's Bane and then I'm going to, oh, I have to get the Skull Scepter. Uh, most of these are pretty easy. I'm trying to remember what the prayer book is called so I can switch it. Yeah, I'm going to have to find the little thing in my bank. Uh, and I have to plant a U-Root, which is going to take me a little while. I think I have some U-Seeds still. Ooh, 200 points for a super combat potion. I made it in Varak West Bank as that's a elite diary requirement. I'm getting close to finishing everything. I need some rune crafting and I need bake a summer pie, which I don't know how I'm going to do that. I think I need watermelon and strawberries. I think I saved some strawberries just for this possibility. Yeah. Watermelon. I probably have to plant some of those. I might do that real quick. There's some magic roots dug up. I'm going to plant this yew tree now so I can hopefully get the Varak Diaries done. I'm running through a soul's bane right now and this quest, the concept's really cool, like the different parts of his mind. But the execution, it's so tedious. Why do I have to go to every tunnel a million times to try to find the thing six times? I don't know, it's just a little bit silly. But we are moving through it and my watermelons will be about done. I still am going to have to wait for the yew tree, but I'm hoping the medium and easy lamps will get me close to 78 rune crafting so I can do finish off the elite diary with that. Alright, that one's done. Uh, nothing really great from that except for the Varrock diary. What did I need to do? Enter the Tolna dungeon after completing it, so let's pop back down there. All right, that is done. That's the easy and medium diaries done for Varrock. And the other two are just kind of a waiting game. Let's go see if we can get 78 rune crafting from the diaries. I'll probably be using my lamps on rune crafting from now on rather than herb lore, just because I think herb lore I'll, I'll get there on my own. That's, I didn't even notice how much XP that was. Let's try this one, 120k for that one. Did not get me even close to 78. I'll have to do some training to get the rest of the way. Really, instead of training, I might as well just go start some of the other diaries. Lumbridge is actually pretty close to being, it's like over halfway without me even having done anything on purpose. Let's go work on some of these, see how far we can get. Unfortunately, I have to cancel my Hydra's task to be able to get a task from Cheldar. Cancel that. Hopefully it works with the gem here. Let's see. Black demons. That's actually good because I want to go back to demonics. All right, that worked for the task as well. So that's the easy medium lumbridge done. Let's see how far we can get without any kind of getting stuck. 56 cosmics. Lumbridge to Edgeville. Uh, Belladonna. Shit, that's going to be where we get stuck. We'll pause on the lumbridge for now. All right, I'm finishing up the elite diary before the hard because it seems a little easier. Fortunately, you can't drop this and pick it back up, so I'm going to have to do that and then go back to... Hopefully, I can get it back in Lumbridge. Yeah, there's the Elite uh, Lumbridge Diaries done. Let's see. Nexus back. And let's see if I can collect the items from him. Yeah. Nice, I got my orb back. That was easy enough. I'm going to have to do that as well for the Cosmic, I believe. 
All right, let's turn the ones we have done in uh, just medium and uh, easy, but I'm just waiting for the Belladonna and then I can turn in the Elite and Hard. Those are the last two requirements I have. You can't get the Elite before. Yeah, you have to do the Hard before you can get the Elite. Put this on Runecrafting, that's 40k, and that should be 120k. That'll take us close to this. I think it was 78 we needed for Varak. Let's see. Yeah, 78. We'll have to do a Summer Pie. Those are the only two there, and then just a waiting game, and it, the U tree should be done about the same time as the Belladonna. Let's look at what we got to do in the meantime. I farmed enough Dwarf Weeds to be able to make all the Metaphyte Remedies for that one task. I think you have to make 50 of them. Alright, that's done. I'll probably make the rest into range pots in case I need those. I'm just gonna jam a whole watermelon in this pie. Don't need a knife or anything, just smash it in there. Also, how would a watermelon be have any sort of consistency to be in a pie. Doesn't make sense. Make it make sense to me, please. Alright, we got three of these, so if we screw up, uh, we can have a few backups. I believe I have a chef's hat stored in a stash unit right over here. So I can get into the chef's guild. Just gotta remember to put it back once I'm done. Hopefully I have all the requirements. I don't think I need like 99 or anything to use that ray engine there. Wouldn't really make sense. Oh no, is it gonna let me in? Maybe there's one upstairs? Yeah, there's one upstairs. Let's see if this works. Hopefully we don't burn it. Nice, nailed it. Might as well make the last two. We're gonna pay the fee here. That's a task in itself. Need to- ah, oh, god damn it, I have to help? I already helped. Alright, I'm gonna mine some more gems for uh, more trading sticks. I'm hoping that the glory T will work, because I think- yeah, it works. It has to be charged. Um, and you know what? I don't think I got the one where I mined five without failing either before now, so maybe I'll get that. This is the one. Yeah, I got it. Couldn't do it before. Found on some random Reddit forum that you need to repair a fence at least once to be able to do this, so hopefully that worked. It's so annoying. It's not working. Maybe I have to repair it all the way. Oh, super quick I got a gout tuber. I think I used a spade on it, hopefully. That's nice. They, I guess they increased the rates on this, but the first, oh, the 80 points just for finding it. The first few, uh, or the first week or so of the league, it wasn't increased for some reason. Let's try this one more time, not that the fence is fully fixed. Yes, pay every time. This guy's just running a scheme. Still doesn't work. I don't know, maybe I'll re-log. Let's try that. All right, I did some more digging and it says you can Hand in some favor for him first, and then maybe I'll get back up to 100%. We'll try it one more time. If not, I'm just going to come back. This is ridiculous. All right, we're back up to 100. We're going to pay. And let us shop, please. Yes. Okay, so just get some trading sticks from him if you haven't done that already, and you're having the same issue. Red Topaz Machete. Okay, we got it. Please tell me that's what I needed to do. Nice. I think that's everything except trap a rock. That's not what I'm trying to do. I believe that's the medium diary done. I gotta go turn these all in for... Uh, I gotta go make these hides into the armor. I think that's a task. I remember seeing it, so I'm just gonna do it and hope that's the case. Let's see if this was in fact a thing. Yeah, it was. 40 points for that. Now what do we need to do? I need to go to grapple near... Ramja, which I can do no problem. I think I still have my grapple left. And then I need to become the champion of the fight pits. I think now that we're done with that, we're going to revisit this one because I'm going to need a friend to do uh, the rest of that one. And also 91 room crafting and a quest. I do want to do the quest though because I might do some fishing uh, with Grand Wands. Let's go turn these first two diaries in for some XP. First I'm going to check the spirit tree, which I'm glad finished. Nice, 300k XP. Once I plant the one in my house, which I do have the seed for, I can teleport between those two, and it's a it's a big task as well. Um, I think the diary guy's here. Is it just him? There's the easy diary done uh, during this quest. I'm just gonna finish it up. I might as well get some Joker bones. Pretty sure you can use one of these Joker bone paste things uh, to feed a, a dog, and it gives you some kind of weird achievement. 
I don't know if it has to be cooked or what. Marinated, I think that's the one. So I'm gonna do two of these. Let's go see right now, because we can just teleport right back here. Give me a while to find them, but let's use this on the stray dog. Nice, it was the task. 80 points for that. It's a weird one that I bet a lot of people wouldn't have known about. And you get to keep it, so that's good too. Alright, we're done with that one. Um, Alright, I gotta go see all the suns. Hopefully I get the last things I need. I don't think I need these anymore, I'm gonna bury them. The first brother gave me 80k cooking XP. This one gave me 80k fishing XP. Now I can buy as much of this stuff as I want, which is really, really nice. Won't have to fish any of these guys. And I am going to buy some Karambwans. Oh, they're not noted for some reason? They should be noted now. Yeah, I'm going to buy some Karambwans as well. I can just finish off my cooking with this. And I might fish some myself, but at least I'll just have them anyway. Might as well buy them while I'm here. I got my buddy to come help me with this. I think he wants to kill me. I knew he was too eager to come do this. Oh boy. God damn it. God damn it, I forgot he had that thing too. Oh, this is annoying. I'm gonna kill him. He tried it again, but I, I got it this time. Alright, I am the champion. That's the hard diaries done. You don't get any points for uh, finishing these diaries, but at least you'll get the XP. 80 points for completing the hard diaries, so I guess there are points, just not for the first few. Let's go back really quick and hand it in for the XP. Alright, I can teleport to Shiloh now, which is kind of nice, and let's use this last one on runecrafting. Another 160k, I'm almost 80. I'm doing some cooking now, just, I might as well finish 99, I don't think it'll take too long. Um, probably gonna AFK some, but doing some one ticking as well. I'm about a thousand to cook to hit 99. Just threw on some prayer gear while I'm training cooking here and was able to get plus 30. Well, that was another random 200 pointer cook uh, 100 angler fish. I think I had those from uh, Skatiza. Here is 99 cooking. My wrist already kind of hurts from that. I only did like a mil XP with 3 ticking. Uh, 200 more points there and we're almost 100 levels off max total level. Um, my next 99, I'm not sure what it will be. Maybe farming or like woodcutting or something. Or even agility just by slowly grinding it out. First one back with some nice upgrades from raids. Let's see if we get the purple. <sighs> my luck has gone my luck has gone downhill for sure I think that's like three whites in a row maybe not I don't remember time to see if my fruits have paid off that, that didn't make sense time to see the fruits of my labor here with these last diaries you tree is done I just gotta chop it down and dig it up oh we did it quick dig before it grows back Nice, I got four roots. That is... Vera cards done. Let's go turn all these in. Alright, there's my two lamps. Let's use these both on runecrafting. That got me all the way to 80. Almost 81, and there's the big one. Boom, 800k XP, all the way to 84. Alright, let's move on to... Oh, what am I doing? Reach base 82 is 200 points. Let's move on to the Lumberage. I think Belladonna should be ready. I just gotta bank this so I can get back to TOA. Imagine me saying I'm gonna bank my thing and then not banking it. It's just classic. Um, if I remember correctly, you need gloves for this because I used to do them on my main to try to get a pet because it's a decent pet chance. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna keep these in case I need them for something weird. But let's see, Lumbridge and Draenor should be all done, so let's teleport with the Nexus to, I believe it's N, and cash these in as well. Okay, same with these ones, we're going to throw them on runecrafting so we don't have to do as much runecrafting. 15k, multiply it to 240, and then here's the big one again, boom, 800, all the way to 87. 
Now if I get the Abyssal Needle, I can make the Big Pouch, and there's a lot I can do. I'm close to the Karamja ones. I might even be able to boost. I don't know if I can get Spicy Stew. I think so. I don't have quite enough time to do another TOA, and I was thinking about what I could do in the meantime. Where's... But anyways, I was thinking about what I could do in the meantime, and I don't want to do a lot of the higher bosses until I get Shadow. I'm kind of dragging my feet on those. But, uh... I'm, I'm gonna go kill the deranged archaeologist or whatever it is for some extra points. Um, I don't know if he has any point tasks, but he definitely has some combat achievements associated with him. So I'm gonna go do that now. Should be like one just from doing that. Now if I actually dodge the attacks, I'll get another one, and then it's just 25 kills for the last two. Oh, I had no idea I was close to anything. I just got 50 million hit points XP for another 200 points. I think I'm really close to defense at 35 mil. Alright, that should be 25 kills. Nice. All the combat tasks done there. Uh, let's maybe go back to something a little more interesting. Nailed it. Let's see the time on that one. It was 34 minutes. It's pretty fast. Please don't tell me it's white again. Thank god. It was like two or three whites in a row, I'm pretty sure. All right, what do we need? We just need Missouri legs and the shadow. If we get the shadow, we are happy. Get the Missouri legs, we're kind of happy. Come on, imagine another ward. We're gonna try another raid. Thieving, no guardians. Okay, we're gonna try another raid. Um, I'm gonna try Tecton again with melee because. Mage did not go so well last time. I think I'm gonna go for the no prep. I know it's not gonna happen with five brews, but I want to practice and trial by fire, I guess. All right, we died, but we grabbed a couple more brews, and hopefully this should get us through the rest of it. All right, no way that's a purple, but well, we ended up with 22k points. I think this is the trick with Tecton: just safe spotting them and let them go back to the anvil. Up damage it a little bit, so it's not so bad. Alright, this is about as prepped as I can be on a no prep. Hopefully we can get it. First no prep done. No purple. I had quite a bit of supplies left and it was still pretty sloppy, so definitely uh I do it with less when I practice a little more. That was a nice one. Hardly used any of my own brews that raid. No purple. Let's see what we get anyway. Ooh, elite. Lantidimes are nice for Blur. Now that I have the Arty Elites done, I think I'm going to do some more AFK pickpocketing. Uh, I might even go for like 200 mil to try to get the pet. I don't know, I'll see how many coin pouches I can hold, but this will be a lot more AFK while I'm working than it was before. Okay, I had no idea it was gonna like multiply it so much. You can get 420 coin bags, which is not even every pickpocket, uh, before you have to empty them. It was over 2 mil XP just from one, one go, and it's over 13 mil XP an hour if I am paying attention, like not miss, not resetting. There's 50 million XP in thieving for 200, I think it was 200 points. Alright, it's time that I start getting serious about getting the shadow. Um, I'm gonna try out a couple different things. First of all, I wanna see how hard a 700 would be. And barring that, I might throw on insanity to start uh, doing 545s. I think it would be a lot faster, because I'm getting a significant amount of white chest now. We have a 30 minute lunch break, so let's throw on Blazing Tombs 2. Let's see if we can take anything off now without screwing it up. Can we take that off? No, that's gonna totally take both of them off. So let's see if we can do 700 here. Let's save the preset. Definitely going substantially slower. Um, Oh, that's so unfortunate. Of course I get that on the first one. I don't even know if I can do it anymore, but we try, I guess. Yeah, I just straight up ran out of brews right before I got him to the second phase. That's unfortunate. I think I could do it if I didn't get so unlucky with the uh, uh, 
supplies there, but I don't know if it's worth it. It's gonna add on like 10 minutes to every raid probably, and I guess for finishing some uh, 20 or 25 or something, because I have five normals. Let's see, I need a purple after failing a couple. Of course, why would he give me a purple? Alright, I swear to Christ, this has been the most frustrating day of TUA I've done. This needs to be purple. Oh my god. It hurts. It hurts so bad. This has to be it. it just has to be. Wait, how do you do this? I'm doing it. <gasps> no way! No way! No way, dude! Yes! Yes! I'm taking it before anything else happens. Holy shit! Thank Christ, dude! All the shit I was just talking. Oh my god. It fucking happened, bro. It fucking happened. What is it? Like, 3, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Thank god, dude. And now, if I come back, I can get the legs and have the fucking shadow to do it with. Oh my god. Holy shit, I'm so fucking happy. Holy shit, I'm so stoked. <laughs> I can start playing the game. Alright, there it is, charged up. Let's equip it for the first time. I gotta get my pet out first. We equip it. Oh, 400 fucking points. Yes! I gotta go get Krondus' Fang anyway, so maybe I'll, I'll do the back-to-back -back with it. Dude, what the fuck? It's a 1 minute 28 Z back. Oh, <laughs> 2340. <laughs> and it's a purple. Imagine. Give me the legs. <laughs> oh <laughs> what the fuck uh... <laughs> it's just too easy oh, we gotta look at the line <laughs> uh, not many I did five normals too I think 23 and 5. It's the log done. Just missing the red gem. Alright guys, we're gonna end it there. Uh, this was a long one, so leave a comment if you made it all the way through, and a like as well would be much appreciated. Next episode we're gonna be testing this thing out, and I feel like I can finally play the game, because I've been kind of hard stuck in my mind on this one for a while now. This has been a crazy episode, so hopefully we can keep up the momentum with the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already, and I'll be back soon with another part of my adventure.